Hello there, Raj. All right, great work. Great start to the course. And it's super to see students getting started, writing essays and taking action. That's exactly what we want to see. So let's have a look. The faster and new way to nurture the skills and creativity of children is to do an enjoyable activity rather than reading. Good. In my opinion, entertaining activities are more beneficial in the holistic development of the child than that of reading. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a good start. Excellent vocabulary there, Raj. There are many reasons which support the enjoyable activities over the reading. Okay, there are many reasons which support the enjoy. Yeah, the thing is, Raj, right? With articles, these are like the bane of every student, and we need to master them. I'll just give you a quick sort of like... Um, overview but here we can't say the enjoyable activities because we're not referring to any specific ones in particular so it's zero article yeah so there are many reasons which support enjoyable activities over reading for the development of children's children children's saxon genitive children's skills and imagination can you see Firstly, enjoyable activities are the fun way to learn new concepts and ideas. Children show more interest in these activities as they break the boredom which is common by which is common in reading. Which is common by reading. Yeah, in is more appropriate. And where where a child has to sit at one place and read. For example, Flint or Box, a brand providing online play or online games okay online gaming activities acts according to the age of the child and helps the child in acquiring new vocabulary and concepts of our environment in an efficient manner very good very good we just need to get this part straightened out straightened up okay in addition it is it is also encourages so in addition, it also encourages the creativity of the child, or a child, okay, probably a child here, with the help of worksheets where children apply the, change it to the plural, and then we can use the neutral term, the, knowledge, and learn from these activities. Therefore, incorporation of educational elements in the child's activity is more effective is a more effective way, because it's singular, to improve the skills and creativity of children. Good. Secondly, engaging in educational entertainment exercises will help students to improve their academic results. This is due to the fact that these activities build scanners in the mind of children for further learning. Furthermore, it increases the focus concentration and cognitive abilities of the child. Additionally, the group activities teach children important social skills such as teamwork, cooperation and also enhances communication skills. For example, a study by the Delhi University shows that students' involvement in sports and extracurricular activities improves their score by up to 30%. Consequently, children learn things by doing things from their own experience rather than gaining theoretical knowledge through reading. Good. Can we see? Things doing thing. We've got repetition and we've got vanilla words. I guess they could call them vanilla. I just invented that term now. <laughs> what I mean by things is, is just too, is too vague. Consequently, children learn activities, sports, skills, hobbies, interests, knowledge, whatever, anything but things, by doing, by participating in activities, or by, can you see what I mean? Um, by doing practical activities from their own experience, or in their own experience. So what I'm saying is that there's always a better word than things, or the verb to do, uh, the noun to do, uh, sorry, the the noun thing and this goes as well for good bad big and small those are all words that we want to eradicate from our reading from our writing in conclusion playway method ah okay so it's a method let's see right okay i've never heard of it 
So let's just see. For example, Flinterbox, a brand providing online playway activities. Right. Yeah, I've got no idea what that is. Um, so maybe we could have just said, for example, Flinterbox. Flinterbox. And I guess if that's the name, we should put a capital B there. Flinterbox. A brand providing a new style of activities called Playway, comma, acts according to the age of the child. Okay, and then just to, um, yeah, but Playway here isn't essential. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it's called, um, especially if it's not something like uh, that's quite well known, you know. Um, and it's kind of confusing and it could easily be picked up as just a grammar mistake as I did the first time. So let's just see. In conclusion, the interactive way of the interactive method of learning is more beneficial for the development of skills and creativity, and reading is no longer an important act for learning new concepts and ideas. Good. Future generation will flourish their skills. Mm. Have a look at how to use flourish. The future generation's skills will flourish with a wider range of these activities. Okay. Okay, right then. Good start. Good start, Reg. Be careful with the use of articles, though. Okay, this is going to be uh, an issue you need to take complete control of. People have different views on the major purpose of school. Some believe that education should be its main focus, whereas others, well done for using the comparisons there, the comparisons, whereas others consider entertainment as an important part of School, 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 school. Parts and part of the process of um, learning. Can you see? Just to avoid repetition. Um, and parts and part of the curriculum. In my opinion, extracurricular activities play an important role in the growth of a child. Yeah, that's right. In the other one, we didn't get it right. The major role of entertainment in, in schools. The major role of entertainment in schools is that it helps in the overall development of students. The recreational activities like sports, music, arts and dance helps to develop the cognitive skills of the children. This is because such activities help students to communicate with their peers, with their peers, yeah, which in turn helps, yeah, helps them to understand their strengths and weaknesses. For example, a study by the French government showed that teenagers who participate in sports and other activities perform well in their Let's see, academics, no, in their academic and social life as compared to those who are non-participants in these activities. Okay, that is kind of redundant, yeah? This isn't a correction, this is just an improvement. Um, what I'm saying is it, it's, it's clear, uh, so we don't have to state it because we're not adding that much. We're not adding anything to the sentence to the information being conveyed so let's just delete it as a result schools should be more entertaining in order to develop the personality of the child beautiful very beautiful very good it's a, it's a straightforward argument beginning to end the communication is clear there's hardly any grammar mistakes so that's a fantastic start Reg. moreover too much burden of education can lead to many health problems right well done I, I appreciate and commend your ambition for using this one, but research it, look it up in the dictionary and write out a couple of sentences with it, okay? It's very useful to, to use, but we need to use it perfectly. Um, but this is the place to experiment while you, with me, with our course, not in the exam. Moreover, the burden Okay, the burden of education can lead to many health problems. The parents and the education pattern are such that they put so much burden on the minds of children. Mm. Repetition. Okay, avoid using it. I can't, the examiner can't give you points because you've, you've picked up points um, when you used it the first time, hopefully perfectly. That's it now. Okay, parents and the education pattern. I wouldn't have said education pattern either process is more suitable as such that they put um, so much stress on the minds of children 
and Alzheimer's said they place so much stress if you did use that one. This leads to depression. No, hedging. Look at the advanced chapters and say this can lead to depression and other mental disorders in youngsters. Good vocabulary again. These problems can be solved if recreational activities are conducted in the school, which will motivate the child to do better in their life, as it will show them different fields where they can perform good. You see, good. Um, where they can perform and gain confidence to live and choose a career of their interest. Perform is positive as it is. Okay, so we don't have to say perform. We say can perform well, but it's okay. So they can perform and gain confidence to leave, to live and choose a career of their interest. Thus, to break the tradition of regular study in the schools. Okay, thus, to break the tradition of regular study, the schools should be curtailed with adequate resources for cre recreation. Once again, commend your ambition for using this. Um, okay, so here's the problem. Okay, thus, um, to break the tradition of regular study in the schools, teachers should be curtailed. Mm. Curtailed means like brings to an end, so we really need to rephrase this. Thus, to break the tradition of regular study, of boring, maybe of uninteresting study, in the schools, teachers should be curtailed from imposing academic curriculums and, prov and instead be provided with adequate resources for recreation. Okay, so look up burden and look up curtailed and probably write out about 10 sentences of each one. Okay. And try and really, really master it. In conclusion, I firmly believe that non-educational activities help, plural, yeah, help in the holistic development of the children, which helps repetition, which aids them to perform well in their future life. So, super star Raj, very impressed. What I'd like you to do now is implement all the corrections that you've heard, make an error list, research some of the topics that I mentioned, especially the use of articles, and then write two new essays, watch the tutorials, write two new essays, check them for mistakes that you've made in this um these essays um check them against your error list and then send it all back to me your corrected essays your error list and your two new essays okay you're doing really well and i want you to carry on improving have a good day